name is Martin Joroge, uh, working with the Kenya Organic Agriculture Network. And um, we are a network organization that works with farmers, input suppliers, traders, anybody who exists in the organic space. And uh, we try to work with them in order to come up with solution as well as to grow the sector itself. And uh, today we are here uh, promoting Kilimohai Organic as, uh, because that's the organic mark of certification and proves the guarantee to consumers that wherever they buy a product uh, tagged as Kilimohai or has the Kilimohai label, they are going to get authentic organic products. And uh, it's very relevant, especially in Kiambu, because you find that um, there are a lot of people who might say they are organic but they might not be following the standards to the letter or they might not be actually practicing the organic standards and uh, we also know that some people there are some unscrupulous actors who take advantage of maybe something positive within the organic name and try to take advantage of it so our role mainly under the Kilimohai mark we are trying to safeguard consumer interest as well as the safe, uh, stakeholder interest and uh, today we are here with uh, different partners uh, uh, we are with uh, SACDEP Kenya, who are, uh, are an organization which works with farmers, training them on uh, seed sovereignty, how to conserve their seed, how to, to also make sure that they have adequate seed banks for themselves, and uh, also to safeguard our indigenous seeds in Kenya. And uh, we are under the auspices of the Ecological Organic Agriculture, which is a, which is a, a movement which advocates for the use of ecologically sound ways of uh, producing food and uh, it's a partnership we've engaged with uh, the Farm Kenya Initiative as well as uh, Egerton University and other notable institutions of uh, in Kenya and uh, we're also working with the national government, uh, the Ministry of Agriculture in uh, promoting organic agriculture, trying to come up with a policy that is uh, fair to organic farmers as well as promotes sustainable production of food which is safe for human consumption yeah thank you uh, the event has been awesome uh, we really loved it uh, the energy of the people here uh, the different stakeholders coming on board people getting to learn about us about what our movement is all about and also the the deep interest in organic production because everybody deep down they know that they want to eat safe food and the word that comes into your head when you're thinking of safe food is organic. So how do you grow organic? How do you, how do you get, where do you get organic food in terms of seed? How do you source organic seed and things like that? Yes, I'm Benjamin Ngere and I work with SACTEP Kenya. That's a sustainable agriculture, community development programs, which envisions a smallholder farmer attaining the freedom of their own food, security and safety. Now, uh, SACTEP Kenya is working in, seven, in 14 counties as of now and uh, with different projects. And uh, my main objective and my expectation from this, being one of the people implementing uh, sustain, uh, sustainable ecological agriculture, and uh, after which we have a program we are calling EOA, that is Ecological Organic Agriculture, it's my expectation that farmers come and learn and understand the need to embrace and take organic production as their way of life, so that we can uh, be fully secure by embracing our indigenous seeds, which we believe, and we have, it is, uh, it's, uh, have been noticed that they are resistant to pests, diseases, and at the same time, they can be able to withstand even the, the short rains that we are maybe expecting and that we have maybe in the crop system. We believe we have a solution in terms of food security. And the key thing is we need the people to get the information. Probably that's what they have been missing so that they can realize the food, sec food security issues. So far so good because the community is really embracing the information and we realize that it's true. They have not been getting the information as we would want it to be. And so coming here is an achievement to reaching out to them. <laughs> The extension services is quite a challenge 
because uh, uh, as I have been talking to most of the farmers, it's quite a while since they saw the external office, extraction officers coming to them, and therefore we believe our presence will be, make a, big, a very big uh, impact in their life, in their farming life. Okay, thank you. This one is an inspection body, but then there is a, a certifying body. It's very independent from this, which is now going to give you the certificate for you to, to achieve now the mark of the Klimo High. Now you can be called an organic farmer, but remember there was a process from the start where you get introduced to the same, you apply for organic certification, you go through the certification education, then you get uh, inspected, inspected if you are following the standards as per the market. Then after that, the inspectors come and they affirm that it's truly this person is doing the organic. With the other things that will be said, you'll be put a... Uh, uh, there are those things that you'll be told, you must do this to achieve this. Once you confirm to be complying with all that, then you'll be given the mark of Kilimohai, and then you can be called an organic farmer, and your products will now be called organic products. Yes. That process is affordable? I would say it's affordable. And that's why you have partners like SACDEP, which is mainly training the farmers. SACDEP Kenya, SACDEP Kenya is mainly training farmers on the best way, the practices to achieve this line. But then Kohan comes to harmonize now this in organic approach. And remember organic is the food production systems, right? But when you talk of sustainable agriculture, it's quite broad because it encompasses organic farming. Because after the end of, after practicing sustainable agriculture, you achieve organic food. So that's when it encompasses all these together. But the but, the, but the, in the market, what is recognized is organic food. Yes, so that's how now sustainable agriculture and organic, they come together. Today we are talking about food, and that's why we are talking about our seed and our heritage in the organic context. These are our indigenous seeds, where we don't say it is not, we don't go for the hybrid seeds, but we say it is good to have our own seeds. And that's why at SACDEP we promote uh, seed stores in each area that we are working to ensure that every community embraces and keeps and retains that which is theirs. For example, if you look at this maize here, it's called Imchuka. It's an indigenous seed for the Chuka community. But it almost, it's almost lost. But can we, can we be able to bring it back? That's the question you're asking ourselves, and that's why we promote indigenous seed. If you look at the other one is Katumani, do we still have Katumani in our farms? It's resistant, it's resistant to, dis to diseases, to pests, and if the, the, even if the rain doesn't come, you still have your crop. But do we still have them, or are we losing them? So the idea is to promote the indigenous crop and the seed so that we can retain our food and we can be food secure. There are two methods of certification. Uh, there is one which is very simple because uh, we, we say there is the PGS, that is participatory guarantee system, and there is the third party uh, certification, which now might be very expensive in terms of finances because there is where you get a body which is uh, which a set standard according to the consumers, which where if you are a farmer, you want to supply the products there. So the, the consumers will come up with the standards and the third party is the person who now brings you together, the buyer and the consumer. So the, the, the cost there is very expensive. But when we talk of PGS, PGS uh, is involves whereby if you are a farmer, and your neighbor is also interested in doing the same, you come together like a group. Then now you, you, are, you, you become, that's why it's called participatory guarantee system, because you, you make sure she, if you is also a member of that group, she does not misuse or mi misuse the, either the use of chemicals, the use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides and all that. So you, you guarantee one another. You, so that you don't lose the consumer, the market. 
So the, the cost there is almost very minimal. And that's why when you asked, it might be expensive. I thought it's good you understand. It's not a must, you get certified alone. You can mobilize the people in your area, your group, uh, your former group. Then it will go on, the way you have been say, told. You, it's able to come in and you know, make sure that you, you get your, your, your product becomes organic because you yourself, you are guaranteed one another that you cannot misuse the use of chemicals and all that so that you contaminate or you make your product not organic. So those are the two systems you can use. Yeah.